hey what is up guys yes it is the sensational back with another video review and i have been waiting so long to do this i'm back with the review of the mcs01 kbb mp10v and i'm so excited to do this okay first let's take a look at the box as you can see there's a there's a there's a beautiful image of optimus prime on the cover with a nice shiny i love this effect it's really nice. It's different than the one MGO got. Um, be sure to check out MGO's channel. MGO's great. He's my main inspiration. Go check him out. Um, Kubai and Bao. We got a QR code. Words that I cannot read. The title of the figure. Alloy Parts, ages 6 and up. No, it's not. Um, MCS01. KB Master Classical Series, got a nice picture of Optimus Prime. You have the energy device, which opens up. Got Optimus Prime holding his rifle. A transformation sequence. All the metal parts, all the accessories. Same thing on the, on the other side, on the top. KB Master Classical Series, same picture as on, on the side, except crop differently. MCS01. And on the bottom of the package, Starlock side on the bottom of the package. You got words I can't read. You got warning signs. You got QR code. Warning choking as in small parts not for children under three years. Warning choking hazard, etc. etc. That is it for the packaging. Now let's move in closer here. And I just dropped the camera. Oh boy, oh great. Yeah. How I wanted to start this review, just dropping everything. Heck yeah. Uh, let's lower the camera here. And get into Optimus Prime himself. And his vehicle mode's okay. He's got a little <laughs> issue. Um, imagine driving on the road and seeing that. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it doesn't really like the lineup. This, uh, this panel likes to pop out a lot. Stuff sometimes doesn't like to fit together. The wheels, the back wheels don't like to catch on the ground. Um, I mean, if you risk your risk breakage and bend it, then yeah. I mean, I, I untabbed the headlight because I was trying to get it to do something. But it's an okay vehicle mode. It's, um, it's a big boy. For a Voyager size figure. Now, here he is with a some random toy car thing. Here he is with the last night. I think I just ruined my setup. No, I didn't. The last night squeaks battle trailer, which can open up. I might review squeaks in the future. Tell me in the comments if you want a Screeks review. I will go and get him from my toy box. And here we have Transformers R.I.D. 2015 Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Not a great figure, but eh. Uh, should we take accessories or not? No, let's wait. Let's do the transformation first. It is time for transformation. So first thing you want to do, take these headlights and just untab them from the sides and untab this part of the bumper as well. And that'll just sort of flop down. Uh, same thing on the other side. And these are extremely loose on mine. Like the more you use them, the more that they flop and do whatever. Uh, next thing you want to do is just pull this out. And it's sort of like the G1 toy. Uh, you want to come up under here, pull this panel down, and rotate the hand so it's out. And there's a little tab right here, if you can see it. And there's a little slot in there, and that'll just fit together nicely. Fold in the steps, extend the arm, and put it like that. This will come into play later, the making arm, making the arm in this position. Yeah, this. 
I knew what I was getting into when I bought a knockoff. The plastic isn't the best. Um, the diecast parts hold up so well. But some of the plastic parts just feel like they're going to snap. And another plastic part I'll talk about in a bit. Well, this is diecast, but I'm, never mind. Um, so, just be careful. Be extremely careful when transforming the arms and legs. Like, like this portion of the arms and a portion of the legs I'll show you in a minute. But, in all in all, be very careful with this guy. You know, play with him, but don't get too rowdy. He, he has paint on him, and that can chip. Like, it's already chipped on the headlight. If it focus. It's already chipped right there. So you want to open up the chest and pull the head out. I'll take the thing here by the bumper and just push up. And that'll release it, and you can just fold it up into the chest cavity, fold down the bumper, and then close up the chest. You want to take these headlight, the headlights and bumper and just fold them inwards, just like that. You want to rotate it. And Oof. And then, this is what I meant. Because if you do it normally, this will catch, but not here. It goes in just fine. You can rotate the arm down and push it in. Exact same thing on the other side. Push it up in there. And it goes in there just fine. Push the arm in, fold that down. Then you want to take, yeah, this likes to be stupid. Um, then you want to take these hinges, pull up, pull down, and then just sort of. All right, there's a uh, tab in here, right in the stomach. And there's a slot right there, so uh, let me just spread the legs so I can. Push it. Hold on. Let me open up the chest and get a better leverage. It's usually not this hard. God, that that's an uncomfortable sound. I'm gonna close up the chest and the legs. And I'm gonna re vehicle mode them because you kind of have to. Um, have to tra half transform the legs to get the chest in there, but I wanted to do that. So the first thing you want to do is unfold the feet, which basically consists of pull the foot out, push the heel back, done. Uh, same thing on the other side. Now, the figure used to have these, and they would swing out on a double hinge and close up the wheels. But unfortunately, both of them snapped. Like, the, the arm thing happened the first day. This happened like a while after, and I don't transform this dude much. I keep him in robot mode. And I was, I was, honestly, I was devastated when he snapped again. I was like, oh my god. I'm gonna break this toy, yeah, but Optimus sometimes has wheels on the side of his legs, so whatever. Um, it's okay. Um, hinge, it's on like a hinge, two hinges, so you just wanna wiggle the, oh, wait, there's a, um, a slot on the side of his, uh, on his hip. There's a tab on the gas can, and it just tabs in there. Pull that out, and accordion that down. Uh, you want to turn it around and then spin him at the waist. So these yellow pieces and this big blue bit is showing. Swing these vents around. Just like so. And do that. And that that is really uncomfortable to do. It makes me feel like I'm going to rip his leg off. Um... On the other side, and for some reason the chest isn't wanting to stay together. Please don't break! Oh my God, 
If you break, I'm gonna cry. Jesus Christ, Optimus, don't do this to me. Why? Um, and then let's bring the camera up like so because he's a big boy. And then position him. And there you have him in the robot mode. And he's great. He's, he's great. Um, MP10, uh, his shins were too short, so he had gorilla arms. Like, really big gorilla arms. The extra vent and stuff sort of lengthens the leg, so it's not as bad. Like, he still has big arms, but you can walk over it. Now... Onto a little new section I like to call the accessories box. It's a segment where I just show off all the accessories that comes with the figure. And what do we have here? Oh boy. You have the axe from uh, episode one of the original G1 series. And let me just see here. So there's a little slit right here that leaves room for his th thumb. Then you just plug it on. And there you go. Now on my copy, this uh, connection between the actual spiky bit and the axe is very loose. So I recommend probably gluing that in. Uh, next, we have a sword. You can just open up his hand. Slide that in, and he grips it. Okay, like... It, uh, it wobbles. Um... It actually fits fairly well in classic Optimus Prime's hand. Fits pretty well in that, and it fits with his aesthetic, so there's that. He comes with a mini Megatron that you pull that down, open up the hand, and just put that in, and yeah. Megatron is die-cast metal. And this hinge here allows for him to hold it better, and you can just slide the stock off anytime you want. So there you go. And he comes with three alternative heads. Uh, let's set the accessories box to the side for a second. Bring Prime back front and center. He comes with a, oops, a more angular head shown in the G1 movie. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. Uh, please focus. Thank you. Uh, it's very angular and stuff. And it's okay, it's, it's a nice head sculpt, but I prefer the original, which is a lot more sort of youngish looking, and it's very, more streamlined. This is very accurate to the G1 movie, so I'll give it that. He comes with a, an, an eh head sculpt. Uh, the face is too flat for me, but uh, it, it looks nice. Uh, it, it has the same back as the G1 movie head. It just, uh, the face is a little flat for me. And it comes with an Orion Pax head. Don't know what you would use this for, but nice that they included it. And comes with a jetpack. Uh, Sideswipe's jetpack, sort of, to be precise. Um, I think it's Sideswipe's jetpack, I don't know. There are these two um, spires that plug into screw holes on his back. You gotta make sure they they line up right. Because it's really hard. There you go. And now he has a big jetpack on his back. And there are two plugs there, but I don't know what for. Maybe some weapons from retail Transformers Hasbro figures. I don't know. Oh, and one more accessory. This panel back here flips down, and there's a black section there push up on that black section and out comes something what is it i don't know oh boy it's a big black mass there's a tab here that you can get a hold of it 
pull down, and you unfold this, and there's Optimus Prime's classic rifle. <sighs> he doesn't hold it too well. See, there's a um, there's an opening in here, a little tab area, and those tabs he can be held in either hand. Um, when you tab it in, like initially, it it you have to sort of maneuver it, but it tabs in just fine. But when you ball up the fists, the tab just says "screw you." But sometimes you can get it working, and you can get some pretty radical poses if it doesn't say screw you and eat its own shorts. And to replace it back in his back there, fold up the tab, fold this up, and the uh, magazine is the black button. So you just slide it in, and if you don't see that black button pop out, then you've done it wrong. And it will, again, say screw you. And probably one of the best accessories for this figure is the Matrix. So you want to open up his chest. And then, and then you want to... Also, this sword is die-cast metal, too. You want to open up the bumper. The Matrix is in there. You can pull it out. And this thing is tiny and small. And oh my god. And it's, these are really loose. Like this mechanism makes it really loose and floppy and gross. Um, but it, it's okay. It's really small. Like, uh, huh. Let's see. Here it is with one of the heads. It's pretty small. Here it is. I guess with the um, Classics Primes air thing. I don't know. Uh, but it's a nice addition to have. And you can hold it. He can't really do the spreading thing. But he can hold it. Which is which is cool. I guess holding it's cool. And then you can just insert it. And there's like two tabs in there. You just but it just plugs in with in there. And you just fold all of it up. Alright, I think that is all the accessories, and yes it is. Now you can be, buy a trailer for him separate. Um, the trailer does not come with him. Let me put all of his accessories back in the accessory box. Uh, you can buy his trailer separate. Um, which uh, I'm, I'm not too bugged by. You know, for fifty dollars, I think the whole thing, like all of this, is a good, good deal. Uh, so, articulation. His head is on a universal joint, so it has a swivel and an up and down joint. But it, it, it really, the real head joint is the transformation joint. The actual joint doesn't do much. Um, for the arms, they go full street three hundred and sixty, and that just fell down. The arms go out that much, but if you extend the joint, they go out that much, and then they can go in, sort of uh, swivel at really tight swivel at the elbow. Uh, bend one joint 90 degrees at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, and three finger block with one double jointed finger. There. And I think I broke something. No, I didn't. Thank God. Um, he has a waist swivel. This is me barely moving it. Two loose thighs. And this one's even more loose. Um, swivel at the thigh. 
swivel at the knee, ratcheted almost 90 degrees, and then you can, oh my god, um, ankle tilt, toe and heel bend, but that's more for the transformation. So he's got a, oh and, ooh, he's got decent articulation. He's okay. He, he's, he's not as, he, it's more thought out than this guy. And time for comparison. So here he is with the, an actual Voyager sized, um, like this guy is big. He's a big boy. He's much bigger than the average Voyager. I can tell you that. Here is Voyager Classics Optimus Prime. Here he is with the Last Night Leader Class Megatron. So you can see how they look together. And here he is with the Marvel Legends 1-6 scale. Wait. 112, 112, 6 inch Marvel Legends Ben Riley Spider Man figure. Now, do you should you buy this guy? Uh, if you can get MP10, I would suggest getting MP10 over this guy because MP10 comes with more. It's bigger and it's in scale with a lot more figures and. But it doesn't come with alternate heads or the sword or the jetpack. Everything else it comes with. Um, and uh, it, it costs like about 100 to $200. But if you want a cheap um, substitute and you want a smaller figure that can fit with some of your, um, some figures, you know, not a lot of figures are this scale like, my uh, art mannequin is in scale with this guy. And that's 8 inches. So I guess this is 8 inches tall. Um, can you stop wobbling, please? Thank you. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I would suggest him. He's a good guy. He's a good guy to... Uh, I, would, I would definitely suggest getting this guy. Um... So, um, this is the end of the video, and uh, I just want to tell you, thank you for taking the time to watch me hastily record a video with no script whatsoever. I hate doing scripts. They're boring and tedious. I know, I know they're supposed to help, but good God, are they boring. So. You don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. All I ask is that you leave a comment, that you leave your opinion, and give me some constructive criticism. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time with a review on this bad boy. Last night, the leader Megatron. So, love you guys. Peace out.